energy forecast for Tuesday, April 16th. So today we have the moon in Leo all day. This is definitely going to put a little bit more pep back in our step. We're feeling bold and brave and courageous. We're actually feeling more creative too. We're tapping into our playful energy, which is a very needed energy at this time, because of course this eclipse season on top of Mercury's retrograde has been a little bit heavy been weighted and after the last couple of days especially as we approach that first quarter moon in cancer energy the energies have just been popping off in the heaviest kind of way so now that we have that first quarter moon behind us and we are shifting into this leo energy the light vibrations the playful energy the childlike curiosity the creativity definitely putting us in a better mood in a better attitude so this is probably going to be the pivot day, I would say, of the week where we start kind of breaking away from the heaviness, start kind of moving in a different direction, especially raising our vibration and frequency and feeling more optimistic, more confident, and again, definitely more creative. So there are seven different aspects taking place here today. Five of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in this Leo energy going to make a direct opposition to Pluto. Pluto, of course, the great transformer himself in Aquarius energy. Leo and Aquarius energy share the same axis. The Leo energy wants to push us in our creativity, in our individuality, in our uniqueness, while the Aquarius energy trying to kind of take a bigger, broader picture of what it is that we could do to help the collective, where it is that we want to fit in where it is that we want to advance, where it is that we want to improve. Now, the Plutonian energy is very intense. We are doing a deep dive in our psyche. We are unlocking a lot of the blockages, a lot of the challenges in our programming in order for us to be freed up from the old ideas, from the old path, from the old, let's call them challenges, that kept us in a box. This, again, is really promoting us to tap into our individuality, our unique where creativity is concerned. This is definitely going to pressurize us to see where it is that we want to break away from the group mind, from the hive mind, from the collective mind, and really double down, really bet on ourselves, especially where new ideas are starting to rise to the surface. The moon is then going to make a positive interaction with first Jupiter, then Uranus, who are both in Taurus energy. We love this because, first of all, the interaction with Jupiter is going to turn the volume all the way up on the positive vibes, on the creativity, on the playfulness. And we are definitely feeling more optimistic, more confident about our options, about our opportunities to actually build and create a realm and reality that not only looks good, but that feels good as well. We are definitely in a more expansive mind frame and heart space. We're understanding where it is that there is an opportunity for growth. And this means really aligning with new options and opportunities to push the boundaries of our comfort zone. The interaction with Uranus, the Great Awakener, is going to open up our mind, open up our heart space to different perspectives, different options, different opportunities that maybe we hadn't even contemplated as of yet. This again is pushing us into a new vibration, a new frequency, seeing things from a new set of eyes, and therefore we are open-minded and open-hearted to trying something new, trying something different in order to get a different result. The moon is then going to interact with Mars, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire. Mars is currently moving through Pisces energy, trying to get emotionally, intuitively, spiritually in alignment with a new truth, new mission, new quest, new purpose. This Piscean energy is also infusing us with creative force energy. Mars is building, cultivating this new inspiration, this new motivation, this new determination for a new path, a new plan, a new project. The moon and Mars interacting in this way is also going to intensify this shift in mood, in attitude, this realization on what it is that we want to build, what we want to create, what we want to pursue, and definitely really adding fuel to the fire, if you will, in our inner realm to cultivate this new spark, this new fire, this new flame that will see the bumpiness of trying to initiate something new 
through so that we're actually going to be able to bring some goals, some visions, some ideas to the physical realm. Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money in this Aries energy, taking a little bit more of a direct, straightforward approach to her feelings, to her affections, to her wants, needs, and desires. Venus is going to be making a very positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself. So this is definitely going to put us in a totally different mind frame. Yes, we're in alignment with our heart space, but this is kind of like unpacking, peeling back the layers of an onion, so to speak, to reveal a new strategy. What kind of strategy? Well, we're looking to resolve some of our emotional issues, especially where relationship dynamics are concerned, because of course, this eclipse energy that we've been under the influence of has been a major, major focus on relationship dynamics. But of course, many of us are taking a new strategic approach to resolving our financial situations, our money matters. Again, a lot of these issues were a direct attachment to our self-worth because we're building in our self-worth, we're building in our optimism, we're building in the worth and the value that we see in ourselves. The boundaries in our relationship dynamics and in our physical realm have to change in order to mirror back that change, that shift within ourselves. The goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, she is getting a clear vision because Pluto is very intense. We kind of move into the psyche. We understand the blockages, the obstacles. We're able to overcome them, overwrite that particular programming, that conditioning, which means that we are left with a very clear picture on the different moves that we could make in order to create a different result, either in relationship dynamics, in our financial matters, or a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, ruler of information, communication, how it is that we express ourselves, retrograde in this Aries energy, just messing all kinds of things up for us at this particular point in time. Mercury is going to be making a very positive interaction with Mars. Again, the god of war ruling over our physical energy, our drive, our passion, our desire. So what this is kind of suggesting, because again, we just kind of reached uh, Mercury's halfway retrograde period. Now we're shifting to look forward. We're not so much looking back. We're kind of standing in this present moment. We're starting to orient ourselves to a new path, to a new quest moving forward. And so there is an aha moment that is emerging here. There is a new idea. There is a new perspective. There's a new projection of our wants, needs, and desires. And again, we're building in our energy, our inspiration energy, our motivation energy, our determination energy in order to actually see a new initiation chapter through. And so this is probably going to bring on a lot of aggressive ideas. It's also going to bring on a lot of passionate, creative ideas. And because Mars is in this Pisces energy, really pushing us into an alignment with our higher selves to see what it is that we're passionate about, what we're kind of looking to pursue from the higher realm of ourselves, this is going to be an aha moment on the mission, the purpose that we now want to actually bring forth into our reality. Um, so I would say that this is going to be between uh, Venus and Pluto's interaction, followed up by Mercury and Mars's interaction. I really feel like we're going to be gaining a lot of clarity on what we feel inspired and passionate enough to pursue and actually see some steps that we could be taking in the very near future to actually manifest and bring some of these ideas into fruition. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in this Leo energy, making a very positive interaction with Saturn, the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles and responsibilities and systems and structures and willpower and discipline. And of course, Saturn is in Pisces energy as well, which means that not only are we kind of, you know, wrapping up a 30 year cycle, not only 
Are we trying to kind of deconstruct our old goals, our old vision, our old version of self, our old realm, our old reality? But we're starting to see what it is that we now have to build in the place of the things that we're no longer in alignment with. And again, Saturn tends to kind of bring a serious tone to the mix, um, also kind of brings a little bit of a reality check to the mix. But this is a positive interaction, so it's not going to be a harsh realization at all. It's going to give us a little bit of an understanding of the framework that we're going to have to kind of bring to life and initiate upon, put those cornerstone foundational pieces together in order to build the bridge to get us away from where it is that we're at and closer to where it is that we desire to be. And this moon in Leo energy is bringing forth creative ideas, creative plans on what it is that we want to build, what we want to pursue, what we want to do from here.